Okay, so today I'm going to be making fideo with ground beef. To start, I will be using a seven ounce bag of vermicelli noodles. I also have one pound of lean ground beef, two medium sized potatoes. I'm gonna use maybe a third to a quarter of this fresh onion, I'm just going to dice it. I'll probably use two to three cloves of fresh garlic. I have a jalapeno that definitely needs to be used, so I'm just gonna leave it whole and I'm going to chop up two Roma tomatoes. I'll also be adding seasonings and spices into the mix, but first I'm gonna prep the fresh ingredients and get ready to start cooking this. Okay, so I have my pot, it's already been preheating. I added around two tablespoons of cooking oil to the pot. Now I'm going to add my fideo. I don't want it to burn, let me turn it up. So now I'm going to give my fideo a head start and toast it for about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, before I add the ground beef in. I know some people probably want to cook the ground beef first, then add the pasta, but I think that browning it first will help ensure that it doesn't get mushy, soggy, and bloat when you add your liquid and cook it. So that's why I like to toast it first. So I'm going to continue toasting and basically stirring and moving it around so it doesn't burn for about mm, five to 10 minutes on a medium, medium low heat. You don't wanna burn it, you just want to toast it. Okay, so let me give you a closer look here. So as you can see, my vermicelli noodles are getting a brown, golden brown color. Not all of them, but for the most part, all, you know, most of them. So now I'm going to start adding my other ingredients. So first, I'm going to add in my onion. Saute that for a little bit. I'm gonna make a space here, and I'm still working with a, a medium heat. Now add in the beef. And just start cooking it and browning it, breaking it apart. I'm gonna add my fresh garlic, a pinch of salt. You know what? More than a pinch. I'm gonna add probably a half teaspoon of salt. So you'll notice I have the ground beef on one side and I'm just sort of, you know, chopping it up, browning it, and I have the fideo on the other side. I just wanna give the meat a chance to cook before I start mixing it in. And the fideo is not burning. I kinda of have it pushed off. It's, the pan is kind of offset over my burner. Okay, but that has a good head start. So what I'm going to do is start adding my other seasonings and spices. I'm going to add one tablespoon of beef bouillon powder. If you do not want to use beef bouillon powder, and that was actually more like a tablespoon and a quarter tablespoon, it was heaping. And if you don't want to use beef bouillon powder, then you can just season your fideo with salt. Add your salt to taste with pepper and, you know, which reminds me I need to add pepper. I'm going in with about a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper works. Garlic powder. And I always like to say ground cumin is optional because I know a lot of people just don't like the flavor of ground cumin, but I do. So I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon. So now I'm going to start adding my fresh chopped tomato, my two roughly chopped potatoes. So I'm going to continue to mix everything and combine it well. Okay, so this is combined well, the meat is cooked, and I have sauteed the tomatoes and, and potatoes together. And one more thing I'm going to add is just a quarter teaspoon or so of onion powder. And that's it. I'm going to give this another mix, and now I'm going to add my water. Okay, so now I'm going to start with two cups of water going right in. I think we're going to add, I'm going to add one more cup. So three, three to four cups. I'm going to go with three cups today. And I think that'll do the trick. And if you want things soupier and with a tomato flavor, you could add some tomato sauce in this. So now I'm just going to give everything a stir. Okay, 
So now this is at a gentle simmer, almost gentle boil. So I'm going to add my jalapeno, which is optional. I'm going to cover it with a lid. I'm going to lower the heat. And I'm going to let this gently simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I suggest do not lift the lid. You don't have to stir it, just trust the process. While my fideo is cooking, I'm going to make just little cheese tacos or like quesadillas. This is basically um, corn tortilla with a slice of queso fresco. I thinly sliced it and just made little quesadillas or taquitos, tacos with it. And I'm just going to heat these through till they get crispy. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes. I'm going to shut off the heat and let my fideo hang out. I'm not going to lift the lid. I'm just going to let it set here for another five minutes before I lift the lid. Okay, it's been five minutes. And the fideo is ready. Okay, so here's a bowl for my son. And I'm just going to add my little crispy quesadilla. It's just with queso fresco. And that's it. That's a meal. This is really <laughs> a family favorite, and it's so easy to make. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.